welcome back to John's Films, where another editor was driving me crazy. We were working together on a project for a client, and <clears throat> let's call him Carlos because his name's Carlos. And here's the deal. We were working on a long, like hour-long interview. We had multiple camera shoot here, and there were a lot of cuts between individual clips. Now, we had an A-roll running, you know, almost the whole time. Long interview segments, 15, 20 minutes, more like a round table. Now, in this case, I know the subject matter better than he does. And so he did a rough cut and I came in and fine tuned it. Well, his rough cut split up clips that he had already color graded. Say he had applied it to that clip. Well, he split that clip up a bunch. So then what happens? Well, he ends up with the grade spread across multiple clips. And I mean, great, right? So it looks fine. Unfortunately, as I was working, the client wanted a different look. That meant I had the pleasure of going to every single clip and reapplying some new grade. If only there were a better way. Well, hi, John, I'm here to tell you that yes, there is. Here's the deal. What I'm going to do is start by just eliminating Carlos's very shoddy and terrible work. Yeah, I said it. And I'm going to now start over. And the first step I'm gonna do is right click. In fact, that one's involved too. Right click and choose to create a new group. Add into new group. Now this is a color grading group that I'm going to call Chen's Lake. Here, I now have a group of clips and you don't notice it at first, but up here, I've got more options. In fact, I've got the ability to grade the individual clip, just this clip right here, or to grade the entire group, notice it's yellow, which is the difference you'll notice in your node graph. I've got the ability to color all of the clips in the group at once. And I'm gonna do that, I add a couple of nodes with an Alt and S. I'll drag my ACES transform on top of the node I'd like to add it to, go down to my Sony footage. It was shot at S log three, Cine three. And now I can choose Rec 709 as my output color space. So now what we've got is a group that has all been graded together, but let's imagine we've got a timeline of 50 of these. They're all still graded. And if I wanted to alter them, I can alter them all right here in the group pre-clip or group post-clip. Say I wanted to deal with it after it goes into clip-specific editing. Well, why would I use clip-specific editing? Let's take a look. You see these clips? There was actually an exposure change between these clips, all on the same camera, same mount, but yeah, exposure change. So let's come back and look at this one. It's been graded. It's got the ACES transform. It's got a little bit of correction in it. I'm going to select that clip to color grade, go to clip, and now adding a node in, I have the ability to tweak just this node. And I'll pull down on the highlights, pull down, draw the midpoint down a touch, and kind of get a little bit of a closer read to where we were with the other clips. Too much saturation. But my point here is, now if there's some major change we want to make to the look, I just come up here to the clip group pre-clip where I've made my color corrections and I have the ability to apply color corrections across everything in the group rather than Carlos forcing me to go to approximately 50 or 60 clips and either choose to correct them one by one, like you might see here, or clearing out all of the color grades and starting over. Yeah. The worst part, the most fun, is I fixed it, built the groups and everything, sent him the timeline back. When he sent it back to me, he went back and did it his way. So between the two of us, we probably wasted an hour and a half of work. Why? We didn't communicate. I mean, I, I blame Carlos, he did excellent work, but there's just different ways of doing things. And this is a more efficient way for you to work alone or with others. I hope this tip has helped you. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day.